Welcome to today's video where we dive into the fascinating world of language learning, focusing on German pronunciation. Pronunciation, the way in which a word is spoken, plays a pivotal role in language learning. It's the bridge that connects language learners to native speakers. Accurate pronunciation not only enhances the clarity of your communication, but also boosts your confidence as a language learner. Imagine you're in a bustling German city, and you mispronounce a word. The locals may not understand you, or worse, misunderstand you. It can be quite a challenge, right? By honing your pronunciation skills, you can avoid such situations, ensuring your words are understood as you intend them to be. Furthermore, accurate pronunciation enriches your listening skills. It allows you to distinguish between words that sound similar but have different meanings, enhancing your overall comprehension. In essence, getting your pronunciation right is a critical step in mastering any new language, including German. Now it's time to look at some common pronunciation mistakes that German learners often make. First up, we have the infamous teach sound. This is a unique sound that doesn't exist in many languages, and it can be a real tongue twister for beginners. It's not a hard K sound, nor is it a soft esh sound. It's somewhere in between, and it's all about the placement of your tongue. Next on our list is the confusion between the V and W sounds. In English, we're used to pronouncing V as in vase and W as in water. However, in German, this is flipped. The V is pronounced more like the English F, and the W is pronounced like the English V. So the German word for water, Wasser, is pronounced Wasser. Our third common mistake is the pronunciation of the umlauts, those two little dots that you see over some vowels in German. Umlauts can significantly change the pronunciation of a word. For instance, the U in mutter, mother, is pronounced differently from the U in Müller, miller. It's a subtle difference, but it's crucial to get it right. Finally, let's not forget the R sound. Unlike the English R, the German R is not pronounced at the back of the throat. It's more of a guttural sound, almost as if you're gargling. This is a sound that English speakers often struggle with. But with practice, it becomes second nature. Now you might be thinking, these sounds are so different from what I'm used to. How can I possibly get them right? Well, the good news is that with practice and patience, you can master these unique German sounds. Remember, it's not about being perfect right from the start. It's about gradually improving your pronunciation skills, one sound at a time. These mistakes may seem small, but they can have a big impact on your communication skills. So let's roll up our sleeves and dive deeper into these common German pronunciation mistakes in the next scenes. Stay with us. Let's delve deeper into the first mistake. Now, the first common pronunciation mistake we often encounter in German is the mispronunciation of the teach sound. For English speakers, this sound is tricky because it doesn't have a direct equivalent in English. Mispronouncing it can change the meaning of a word entirely, leading to potential confusion in conversation. So why does this mistake occur? It's primarily because the seech sound in German has two variations. A soft version, heard in words like each, I, and a hard version, as in book, book. The soft H is similar to the H sound in the word huge, while the hard H is more like the chi in Bach, the composer. Now here's the kicker. English speakers often use the hard she sound for both variations. That's where the confusion starts. So how do we correct this? For the soft H, try to say the H in huge, but with more friction at the back of your mouth. For the hard H, imagine you're trying to clear your throat. It sounds a bit harsh, but that's the beauty of German. Let's compare side by side, say itch, soft ch, and then book, hard ch. Can you hear the difference? Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep repeating the sounds until you get them right. With time, you'll master the German cheech sound and enhance your overall pronunciation skills. Moving on to the second common mistake. This one revolves around the German cheech sound. This sound doesn't exist in English, and therefore English speakers often struggle with it. The cheech sound in German actually has two variations. A soft version like in itch, and a hard version like in book. When English speakers encounter this sound, they often replace it with a K or a she sound. However, this can lead to confusion because itch and ick or book and bush have very different meanings in German. To correctly pronounce the soft chi, imagine you're hissing like a cat. Your tongue should be at the bottom of your mouth 
and you should be producing the sound from the back of your throat. For the hard chi, think of the Scottish lock. This time the sound comes from deeper in your throat. It's also helpful to note that the seech sound is soft after I and E and hard after R, O, U and R. Repetition is key here. Try practicing words like itch, nicht, book and borch to get a feel for the two sounds. Remember, it's okay if you don't get it right away. This is a tricky sound, even for advanced learners. But don't let that discourage you. With consistent practice, you can overcome this challenge. Finally, let's tackle the third common mistake. This one is a bit tricky. It's the pronunciation of the che sound in German. This sound doesn't have a direct equivalent in English, which causes a lot of learners to stumble. Here's the crux of the matter. There are two H sounds in German. The first one is a soft chi, like in ish, which is pronounced somewhat like ish, but with the ish sound lighter, almost hissing. The second one is a hard chi, like in buch, which sounds like the h in huge, but more guttural. Now the problem arises when learners use the soft chi where the hard h should be, or vice versa. It can lead to misunderstandings, and it just sounds wrong to native German speakers. But don't worry, there's a solution. It's all about the vowel that precedes the teach. If it's I, E, A, O, U, or I, then it's a soft H. If it's R, O, U, O, or U, then it's a hard H. Remember that, and you're halfway there. Then practice, practice, practice. Say words out loud, record yourself, listen back, and adjust. Try tongue twisters. They're a fun way to get your mouth used to these new sounds. Mastering this will significantly improve your German pronunciation. So keep at it and soon enough you'll be pronouncing Cheech like a true Deutsch speaker. Now that we've gone through these common mistakes, it's time to recap. To start with, we tackled the issue of German vowel sounds, which are often a stumbling block for learners. We learned that each German vowel has a long and a short sound, and the trick is to recognize the subtle differences between them. Remember to exercise your vocal cords and practice these sounds regularly. They're the bedrock of your pronunciation. Next, we delved into the world of German consonants. We discovered that the German RR, teach, and Z sounds can be particularly tricky. The key lies in the position of your tongue and the flow of air through your mouth. With these sounds, it's all about muscle memory. So keep practicing, and soon enough, these once challenging consonants will roll off your tongue. Lastly, we explored the infamous German umlauts, A, O, and U. These unique sounds might seem intimidating at first, but with a little patience and practice, you'll master them. Just remember for R, think of the E in bet. For O, think of the I in girl. And for U, think of the E in C with rounded lips. Now, it's essential to remember that perfect pronunciation doesn't come overnight. It's okay to make mistakes. That's part of the learning process. So don't be too hard on yourself. Keep practicing regularly, and soon you'll notice your pronunciation improving step by step. Consider using resources like language apps, pronunciation guides, and language exchange partners to keep honing your German pronunciation skills. And remember, it's not just about getting the sounds right, it's also about rhythm, intonation, and stress. So, immerse yourself in the language, listen to German music, watch German films, and most importantly, have conversations in German whenever you can. Remember, every language learner faces challenges. But with persistence and regular practice, you'll be pronouncing German words like a native in no time. Thank you for watching and happy learning.